In the name of love, we often give up a lot so that we can give our loved ones our full attention. But sometimes this love turns into sadness when they use our kindness to get what they want. When they need us, they treat us like friends. But as soon as they get what they want, they're gone like birds. But can we change this situation and take back control by just not following certain rules of behavior? We will quickly see a change in the conditions. Allow us to begin this trip. Number one, don't change other people's lives. Don't change your life to fit other people's needs. It's like wearing shoes that are too tight and hurting you for no reason. You get off track every time you take a step in their direction and you lose your pace and forget your goals. As Seneca said, trying to be in too many places at once makes you basically nowhere. When you always try to live up to what other people want, you lose yourself. You shouldn't fit in like a rainbow. You should be proud of your colors. Don't let other people direct your life. Now is the time to go your own way. Being honest with yourself, your life is not a bargain. You are here to write your own great story, not someone else's. Number two, get away from your passion. Enjoy your freedom. Don't let being crazy about someone ruin your life. Don't make them the center of your life, like a star stuck in orbit. Focusing too much on other people will make it harder for you to see your own future. You start to lose your dreams and sense of self when you only think about what they want and need. It's like giving away all your water while you're still thirsty. He said that if you are happy with yourself, you will be happy with everything else. Focusing too much on someone throws off your balance. You become a ghost and follow their rules, losing sight of what you're worth. Get out of their way. Don't just hang out around their planet like a moon. Start shining like your own sun and making your own way clear. Your life doesn't play a small part in someone else's story. You are in charge of your own life. Always keep this in mind. Don't let anyone turn down the light. Number three, keep your mind safe. Enjoy your happiness. Stay happy and healthy and don't let anything hurt you. Giving up your own happiness and mental health for other people is harmful and pointless, like setting your own house on fire to keep other people safe. When you put other people's needs ahead of your own health to please them, you give them power over your happiness, trying to make them happy even though you're sad. Take a step back and take charge of your happiness and mental health again. They're too important. They're not something you should give up. Don't give up your own story to help someone else. Take the lead role in your own story. Protect your happiness and peace with all your might. Improve the strength of your mind. Don't let anyone take away your happiness. Your thoughts are up to you. You're not a doormat for other people. Number four, keep up with friends and family. Don't pull away from family and friends for other reasons. If you're obsessed with someone, don't keep them at arm's length. It's like taking off a tree branch that holds you up. Each family member and friend is like a branch that holds you up. If you start to push people away, you will not only lose friends but also your support system. Someone once said that people are like dirt. They can either help you grow or stop you from growing, which makes you wither. You are taking a hard road when you pull away from the people you love to please other people. Get back in touch with people who matter to you. Take care of the people who can help you. Your family and friends are special. They are what you stand on and support you. Stay close to the people who have always been there for you. Before we move on to number five on our list, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us a lot and costs you nothing. Never miss out on any of our videos about Sigma females and the way you can master your life. Number five, make time count. Find a balance. Spending too much time on other people or giving all of your time to one person as if they were always hungry are both bad habits. Giving your time to nothing is like that. Every minute you spend thinking about them too much is a minute you can't get back. Since time is the most valuable thing you have, you shouldn't risk it by giving in to other people's needs. 
We don't have a short time to live, but we waste a lot of it, Seneca said at one point. Giving your whole time to other people means giving up the best parts of life. Take back your time. That thing is yours, not theirs. You should not let them become the center of your life. Find a mix that works well. Spend your time wisely, enjoy it, and do things that make you happy, help you grow, and make you feel complete. Don't forget that you control your own time. You shouldn't waste it on people who might not even enjoy it. Number six, protect privacy and set limits. Don't talk about every part of your past, especially the hardest parts, as if you were revealing every secret and problem you faced. Your past is personal, especially the hard parts of it. It is your own story and is meant to help you grow during hard times. It's not meant to make other people laugh. Knight said, when we are tired, ideas we beat a long time ago attack us. Talking about all your old secrets means facing old problems that can now be used or hurt you. Protect your information safely inside. They shouldn't be shared with everyone. Share only what's necessary and keep the main point of your story safe. This is what guards your essence and makes you strong. Do not let other people take your protection shield. Watch out for people you trust. Your life story is only for you and not for other people to enjoy. Number seven, refuse to settle and stand up for what you believe in. Do not agree to do things just to make other people happy. If it doesn't speak to you, it's like putting on a mask that makes it hard to breathe just to make other people happy. When you agree to do things you don't want to do, you not only go against what you want, you betray yourself. It's like putting your best color on top of a color you hate. To be happy, we must not care too much about other people, Albert Camus said one time. When you do things because you have to instead of because you want to, you start to feel bad about yourself and lose respect. Take off that mask and stop saying yes all the time. Learn how to say no to things you don't want. Living your life is not like putting on a play for other people to enjoy. Take care of yourself honestly and be real. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it. Take charge of your life and don't let other people tell you what to do. Always keep in mind that you are the main player in your own story, not someone else's. Number eight, don't be afraid of being alone. Instead, value yourself. When you make choices based on fear, especially fear of being alone, it's like wandering around randomly in the dark. Because you're afraid of being alone, you might make decisions that take you to places you haven't been before. Don't forget that silence is not the same thing as loneliness. This is what Aristotle said. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Spend time getting to know and enjoying your own company so that when you choose to be with someone, it's because they make your life better, not because you're afraid of what will happen when they're not there. Enjoy your own company and don't let fear control what you do. Number nine, enjoy and be proud of what you've done. Remember to enjoy the things you've done, even if they seem small. We often forget to celebrate our own successes because we're too busy trying to make other people happy or meet their standards. Though it may seem small, every step forward is a win that should be praised. Epictetus tells us that we should not only want other people to admire us, but also admire ourselves. Don't forget to praise your hard work and accomplishments. Celebrating your progress makes you feel better about your progress and makes your personal trip seem more important. Your accomplishments are unique and should be praised. According to the Stoic school of thought, it is very important to remember that you have choices and that living in harmony with your true nature is very important. Epictetus and other Stoics taught us that happiness and peace come from inside, not from outside situations or other people's approval. You are smart and strong enough to make choices that are good for you, even if they go against what other people want. Number 10. You have the power to make a choice. Developing virtues like wisdom, courage, fairness and self-control 
will help you get through life. These, not how well you meet other people's needs or standards, are the real signs of a happy life. Don't forget that you can choose your own way. Accept that you are different and write your own story based on what you believe and what you value. You don't have to give up your ethics or your health for other people. Instead, take charge of your life and make decisions that show who you really are. According to the Stoic school, real freedom comes from understanding that our own thoughts and deeds decide what we do. Remember that you can choose not to obey, give up your time, or share things that aren't comfortable for you when you feel like you have to. You don't have to live your life the way someone else wants you to. You have the right to make up your own story based on what's important to you. We need to make a change. Start now. Make a promise to stop these things and always try to be the best version of yourself. A lot of the time, outside events affect our lives and we ignore the voice inside us. Stoicism, on the other hand, tells us to get in touch with our true selves, accept who we really are, and bravely make decisions that are in line with our values. Don't let what other people want or expect control what you do. Your life is yours, and you have the power to shape it and write your own story. Don't forget that you are the main character in your own story. You are in charge of your own life and can write a great story for yourself. May your trip be full of knowledge, bravery and freedom, and may your story shine with a shine that no one else can match. Remember that you are in charge of your own life. Make the best picture of your life possible with the choices you make. Click here to watch seven clear signs of a badly damaged Sigma female. See you there in a second. Be stoic. Stay stoic.